Okay, so I have got this black uh, bamboo that I want right next to this bench here to provide shade to the bench in the summer, to break up the color. And I think it's just gonna be really beautiful to have big stalks of black bamboo just right here going down this pathway. The issue is, previously I thought the same thing about a purple caster. The thing is, the purple caster is competing too much with the sugar cane. It's not getting as much sun as it needs, so it's just kind of been stunted for a while. Plus, I do think that because the casters like to grow out big old arms, it's probably going to be more in the way here, and it's just not a good place to highlight the uh, the uniqueness of this particular caster in comparison to the 50 other regular green casters that I have. Anyways, I've not ever had really good luck transplanting uh, casters. For me, once they come out of the ground, no matter the age, they're done. <laughs> um, the good thing is they come up from seed so so well. Uh, but the purple one is limited. I don't have. I only had a few seeds for those. So I really am hoping that I can save. Uh, this caster so that's what I'm gonna be doing here right now is trying that um, I'm gonna take out this flag I put these orange flags that I got from Home Depot everywhere where I have a new like a seedling coming up mainly this casters that are the seedlings but just so I know that they're there so we don't need that anymore so what I'm gonna do I guess is uh, clear this I have a lot of mulch around the bottom here Oh, look guys, look at this. There is, uh, this is the first one that I've seen in my garden. And this is a sign of there being life in the garden. Look, this is a grub. I don't know what kind of grub, but I've not, I've not ever seen a grub in my garden before. Um, especially down there doing its thing in the soil. This is a good sign. This means that there's life in the ground, there's life in the soil, the mulch is bringing life. Um, these guys are breaking down everything. He's trying to get at me. Uh, he's, these guys are breaking down everything, um, helping everything to uh, condense and break down and go back in the soil, which is going to feed all the plants around it. Should I eat it? You guys give me 10 bucks if I eat it? I'm not gonna eat it. Heck no. But that's really cool. Let's see if I can get a little closer. Get focus. There he is. Ooh. All right, back to work. So my goal is to you know, not just pull it out right next to the roots. I really need to make sure that I'm bringing out a good amount of the surrounding soil around the root ball. Because again, they, in my experience, they really don't like to be disturbed. I put a lot more mulch in recently and I'm really hoping that that helps to stop this crabgrass this crabgrass is like the bane of my existence. I love those little garden knives, but I don't know if you guys have had the same problem I have, but I've broken every single one that I've gotten. I've gone through like three or four of them and I'm not even doing anything tough and they just break. So if you know a brand of those knives, garden knives that doesn't break, please let me know. All right, let's go ahead and just start trying to break up the ground around. This guy, oh, see, and that's the other problem I'm gonna run into here. After I get him out, I'm probably gonna have to break this up with the uh, auger or something because I didn't really, I mean, this caster is, is seed and none of my casters really minded the clay soil. Um, so I didn't really prep this area like I would have for other plants but because I'm putting bamboo in, I wanna make sure that it has that nice, sandy, uh, loamy soil, and that it's nice and broken up. Well, if this were a regular caster, one of the green ones, I would just rip it out. Cause I've got so many, 
and I got seeds coming in. I'm gonna have much more. But like I said, this is only one of two of the purple ones that I have. Okay, let's see where we're at. And then I got this crabgrass trying to hold on to. Okay. Okay, yeah. So I think the roots that are under there holding on are part of the crabgrass more so than this caster. I'm gonna put the caster in this bucket. I think what I'm gonna do right now is go ahead and grab the auger and just kind of break up the dirt and mix in some other good soil. And then we should be good to go from there. So I've got this auger that uh, my buddy Daniel left behind when he took off and left us and moved to Texas over there to start a new Markham Gardens. Um, but hey, I'm super glad he did. It didn't work for the longest time, but we got it back up and running, replaced uh, the, some parts, put in new carb and everything. I haven't started it in a couple of months, so I'm hoping it comes up nice and easy for us here today. Let's go. smell and that power but with the fibromyalgia and arthritis and all that other carpal tunnel old people bull crap that I got going on too early that hurts anyways we got a pretty good hole going um, quick reminder to self and to you always make sure to move your water lines out of the way your little hoses for your drip systems before you go to town with an auger. Uh, you know, we'll put in another one. <laughs> um, so we've got all that done. So what I'm gonna do now is just kind of clear some of this out and then we'll come back and uh, I'm gonna mix up some better soil, some good stuff. Um, I think I got some sand out in my car. Um, so I'm gonna go get that, go get everything together and then uh, we'll be back. grub is. Alright, got that in there. I don't have any real specific measurements that I've used, um, but whatever I've done has so far worked for me. In some cases, not so much, and I'll share the kind of stuff in a different video. But one thing that I do try and do is I look at what does it look like in the pot that it's in. Like this one is not extra sandy, um, like some of the things that I get are. So I kind of judge based off of that. I mean, I trust what they're doing over at the nursery and I want to kind of match that. And once you've got about two times the width, then we're gonna put in some of the new soil and 
then we'll take this out and pop it in there and cover it with more. So I'm just gonna put it in there for now. Position doesn't really matter because obviously we're not gonna bury the pot. Normally I would probably mix in some of the fertilizer that this needs, but there's already some of that fertilizer in the soil from the nursery. And it's not the time of year to fertilize right now. So we're not gonna. Now that I've got all that in, you know what to do. We're gonna just kinda even it out push it down a bit all right i'll bring this out and i'm gonna kind of squeeze together to help it loosen and then it should just slide right out now i want to know not that it really matters but i also don't want to start off with the thickest um, things going over toward the bench so i'm gonna plop it in just like this, we'll push down, make sure there's no air pockets, careful enough not to break any of the roots. Bada bing, bada boom. We're gonna take off this tag, because otherwise I won't do whatever. And one day somebody will laugh at me because I never did it. All right. There we have it. Use some of this to create a little bit of a berm. Some of you will probably criticize me because I'm not going to do a proper berm, but I don't know. It's bamboo. It's grass, right? It's not a fruit tree. So if it doesn't work for me, I guess I'll create a berm later. Sue me. Here we go. Now I'm going to move all this mulch back like that. Hey, there we go. Look at here, what do I got? Is this my water line I just found? Yes, sir, still intact too. But we're gonna have to install another one anyway. This bamboo is gonna need way more water than that little caster. Got the bamboo in the ground. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and plant that uh, caster probably over by one of my bananas. Put a little water on this guy and get cleaned up. But. Black bamboo in the ground. I got a bamboo fertilizer that I got from uh, Green Life Nursery earlier today, and um, you will treat that. Um, I think it's a six. I think it's a six-month fertilizer. It could be once every other month. I'm gonna have to double check. I don't know what, what I bought, but make sure if you got the bamboo, you fertilize it and feed it with that fish emulsion. Have the mulch and give it plenty of water, and should be good to go. Bamboo is fairly easy, so. Thanks for watching and grow on.